Welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to compare different models on NIME analytics platform based on their performance. Let's see that. Here, I am going to demonstrate with the same example data set boston.csv used in the earlier video. So, as in the earlier video, I had generated the two objects X and Y and had demonstrated the usage of linear regression option in NIME. Now, for supervised learning, as you know, we do trend test split and hence we are going to do trend test split here. So, the flow which I am going to explain is similar to that of my program over here. So, to begin with, we do the trend test split. Then on the training set, we build the model. After building the model, we have built this and then we predict on the test set and then we check for the mean squared error, mean absolute error and R2 score for a typical regression model. Similarly, how to do the same operations with NIME, let us see that. So to begin with, we require to load the CSV file. So hence, I require to search for the node for loading the CSV. Well, if I type CSV here, this is the appropriate node which I require to drag it down here. Then I need to configure it because the node is not runnable here. So I configure it with the Boston CSV specified then my next node should be the partition node because I now require to do trend test split that's why so here is my partition node so I drag this partition node now I require to join this output of this CSV to the input of the partition. First of all, I will execute this so that in order to ensure that my file path was correct and the file has been read, I am, I have ran this. Then right click on the partitioning node and specify the options of partitioning. Over here, we need to specify the options. Say suppose we want it we want it at random or sometimes we might not be wanting it at random but over here in my example over here we want it at random the data partition has to be at random so hence I click I have clicked already the uh, draw randomly and then in order to ensure the same reproducibility we required to give over here some seed I give some random state over here so this random state which has been given over here is equivalent to what we write with our scikit-learn function random state well the randomization with trend test split may be different or rather I can say is different than that of uh, the the NIMES randomization so don't expect the same coefficients or the same intercept which you get with scikit-learn uh, uh, with, uh, with that of what you will be getting with nine. Okay. So hence now the next step will be we doing the model building. So over here I have the linear regression. Uh, learner tried well I'm going to try several regressors so to begin with I'm going to take linear regression learner and then this is going to be the output for the trend set and this is going to be the output for the test set so I drag this trend set output as an input to my learner it is equivalent to our statement in Python called with, called with dot fit okay dot fit x train y train 
so this is the equivalent operation which we are doing with nine here as we have joined the nodes first of all we need to ensure whether this node is going to be executed with correct x and y over here as the setting seems to be there by default that the rightmost uh, column is always a target so it, it is there so let's accept that default which is convenient for us and now I will click on execute all which will execute so as you see my lights have been changed to green means th this has been successfully executed the next step is going to be obviously that we are going to do dot predict we are going to do scoring on the test set how can we do that well this is the test set and we want to do the scoring now over here we have another node called regression predictor if you try to see the different nodes under the predictor you can see the regression predictor over here here it is which is in the folder linear regression please choose the predictor which is applicable for that particular algorithm so this will be dragged over here and now our model has to be referred to or connected to this particular predictor so our coefficients are going to flow from this node to this node so that they will be applied to the test data now the test data also should be flown to this particular node so now once this gets executed well the prediction happens so over here the equivalent statement which we see over here regressor dot predict this statement is getting executed over here once this prediction happens what we do is we compare the prediction with the actual test set y values how can we do that over here in nine we can do it with numeric scorer so drag this node over here for numeric scorer well and then connect this regression regression predictor to the numeric scorer configure it in such a way that it has to be correct mathematically so our reference column that is the column which is a ground truth should be specified and predicted column should be specified ensure that these two columns are correctly specified and then only click on ok button now it's ready to run and now you can execute it or you may execute the entire flow which will generate okay over here if you right click on the numeric scorer you can click on the statistics and you can see you can see the r square score the mean absolute error mean squared error are many and many other things the evaluation matrix for this particular model as you can see that these evaluation matrix little bit co coincide with these ones but don't expect the the results to tally because the randomization with trend test split may be different than the randomization done by the nine uh, node so hence we have recorded our results for linear regression let's see the similar results for tree so for the tree we are going to try the node simple regression tree learner over here we can either replace this linear regression learner with the simple tree learner or we may 
make the connections over here retaining both the things I am going to delete it and let us join this with only simple tree learner so over here we require to give the input of training data set to the simple tree learner and also we need to ensure with the configure that the options set for target column and the features column are to our expectations hence now this is ready to run now with this executed already we require to replace this regression predictor with the simple regression tree predictor so hence i will delete it now and i will replace it reconnect it and also our test set should go to this predictor let's run this which will generate actually the predictions if we see the predicted output has been generated in the column of predicted as you see here this column this is to be passed to the numeric scorer and to be configured and uh, ensure that the proper reference column and proper predicted column has been selected and then you can run all to produce your results similarly you can try any of the other learner and predictor say for example you want to try for gradient boosting so gradient boosted regression you can try and mind it well the learner should match with the predictor okay so the way you have simple regression tree learner in the same way you have simple regression tree predictor in the same way you have gradient boost learner and gradient boost predictor so you need to replace these nodes respectively hence as you see i have already made the connections and here are my results hence as we compare the three results we see that gbm or gradient boost seems to be better thanks for watching this video please feel free to try these options on your own by downloading nine software if you like this video please don't forget to click on the like button and for updates from me please subscribe to my channel thank you Thank <music> you.